Dashboards unlock information hidden in your data and allow it to reach its full potential. They're interactive and engaging. Charts, indicators, and gauges summarize complex data sets and help inspire smarter decisions. For the past several months, the development team has been busy re-architecting the product to leverage the latest JavaScript API. This means that dashboards will take advantage of the latest mapping innovations that you've been seeing. We'll be releasing it in beta in a few weeks' time. Today, I want to highlight Arcade. Arcade is a portable, lightweight, and secure expression language written for use in the ArcGIS platform. You may be familiar with using it to author advanced symbols, pop-ups, or as Jen showed, labels. Today, I'm here to announce that for the first time at the application level in ArcGIS Online, you'll now be able to author arcade expressions in dashboards. And it will allow you to unlock even more information. Here we have a dashboard that enables a fire chief to monitor fire incidents in real time. It shows incident details and their locations, a summary of the last 24-hour call volume, and uh, the 30-day response times. Let's see how we can use Arcade to enhance this dashboard. This list is showing incident description, ID, and the time at which it was opened. Timestamps, however, don't, don't convey elapsed time very well, how long it's been open. Also, the status of the incident, whether it's open or cleared, isn't communicated here, and it's a bit buried in the data based on some logic with timestamps. By enabling Arcade, we can write an expression to make calculations such as elapsed time, and we can control formatting properties of, of the list. Before I get into the details, I want to point out that, for the, uh, that we've introduced a live update experience with this Arcade editor so that as I type, we see immediate feedback in the preview. Now let's use this formatting capability to reveal the incident status. Here I'm setting the default text and background colors, then evaluating if the incident's cleared based on some logic with the timestamp. If so, I override the colors. At the bottom, we return a dictionary of properties that inform the list how it should render. So we'll return the colors that we just defined. Now we see open incidents in light gray and cleared in dark gray. Let's calculate how many minutes each incident's been open. Here we do a date difference calculation between now and the time at which it was opened and get that value in minutes. We add some text around it, and then we can return it as an attribute from our expression. This can then be used in the template below. Now we see how many minutes each incident's been open, a lot more uh, easy to understand. Let's hide that for cleared incidents. We can even reveal whether an incident is meeting or exceeding department guidelines for response time. Here, if the incident's been open longer than 20 minutes, it will be highlighted in red. Looking back at this dashboard, we see the three indicators at the bottom. They're showing 90th percentile dispatch, turnout, and response times. The industry standard, though, is to format these in minutes and seconds separated by a colon. Using an arcade expression, we can do this quite easily. Let's jump over to a dashboard where I've done this. Here we see the nicely formatted values. Also, I'm revealing whether it's meeting uh, department goals and highlighting unmet goals in red. 
The list has also been improved. I've spent some more time with the arcade expression and used some HTML uh, to visualize this information more elegantly. Also, I'm revealing the stage of the incident as it passes hands from uh, dispatchers to responders. In emergency management, communicating information effectively is critical, as every second counts. Using these new capabilities in ArcGIS dashboards, you'll be able to better unlock information and create more effective dashboards.